Hi, welcome to this live watercolor tutorial. I'm so happy you're here. Today we are going to be painting a Miami blue butterfly together. So let's get started. Okay, I'm going to set up my phone. So it's going to shake for a few seconds. How are you doing everyone? How's it going? Happy Friday. Okay. We have Allison, Hannah, Sarah, Eva, Sydney. Good morning. Good morning, A.N. Desiree, Joyce. Desiree, oh wait. Uh, Joyce says she is tired. Oh, um, what time is it for you? Is it like really early or is it late at night? Um, so this butterfly here, I have my butterfly book. So I'll kind of show you um, what the butterfly will look like. So this is the Miami Blue. Um, and this, I think this is the male, so this is what I'm going to paint here. But the female um, has like some orange on her and some more black spots. Um, so this is kind of what we'll be painting today. And I got a, a lot of questions about this butterfly book. So this is um, this book here by Sally Morgan, and I linked it in the description of this video. And I also linked um, my sketch here that you can download and transfer onto your watercolor paper. And um, when you click the link that will take you to this sketch here, it will have directions on how you can transfer um, the sketch onto your watercolor paper. And there is also a link in the description that will take you to various photos of the Miami blue butterfly that you can use for reference. Okay, and um, all of the supplies I'm using are linked below in the description. So I'm thinking that I'm going to use this vintage pastels pan set from Art Philosophy. Um, and I also have, I think this is Quinacodone Violet from Windsor & Newton. They are professional pan set. And I also have black and this Chinese white also from Windsor & Newton. Okay, hi, hi everyone. Joyce says it is 8 a.m. So not too early and that she's had a long week. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Well, at least it's Friday. Um, so for my supplies, I am using um, Arches cold press watercolor paper and I have two jars of clean water over here. And um, I'm also, I'm using my Princeton Neptune brushes that I always use. <laughs> um, so I have a size 12 round brush. And I have two size eight round brushes and my size four round brush. I have a liner brush here that I like to use for the veins of butterflies and um, sometimes the antennas. So this is a size one liner brush. And then I also have this size zero round brush for details. Desiree says, that the butterfly book is an amazing book. I totally agree. I love that book so much. And she says that she still needs to sketch him out. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> Hi, Mary Ann Foster. How are you this morning? Hi. Okay, I might say your name wrong. Um, y Yvonne. Hi, how are you? Okay, so I have some photos of this butterfly and it looks like some photos it looks purple and then others it looks blue and then some other photos it looks like a blue purple so I think I might paint mine more towards the purple. 
So I'm going to kind of clean off my palette here. I have some paper towel. Okay, and I'm going to kind of mix a blue-purple. So I'm going to take this lilac. This is called, I think, yeah, Soft Lilac from the Vintage Pastels pan set. And I'm using my large size 12 round brush. And I think I'm first going to um, like use the wet and wet method for each wing. Um, yeah, I think that's what I'll do. So I'm just trying to mix a purple. And I think I might add some blue, some of this blue. This is called per periwinkle. <laughs> Okay, I think that's fine to start out with. So I'm going to wet this first wing right here um, with this light purple color, and then I will drop in a darker color. So let's also mix a dark purple. I'm gonna take some of this violet here and Maybe I'll also mix some of the lilac with it. Okay. All right. Desiree says, it's becoming a theme. Me starting sketching too late. <laughs> Mary Ann Foster says, doing great, drinking my coffee, and gonna sit back and enjoy. Thank you. Nice. Um, how do you like your coffee? I feel like I talk about this all the time. I feel like I always ask you guys, um, like, if you prefer coffee or tea. I think we were just talking about that in my last video. Um, so yeah, I'm just wetting this entire wing here. Um, and I'm even wetting like the area right here that's going to be kind of black, but I'm leaving the very outside white because from the photos I see of this uh, butterfly, the outside is white, so I'm not going to paint over that. Okay, and I'm also going to go ahead and paint in his body with this light purple. So if you're just joining, um, I have my sketch. I, I provide my sketch below in the description if you would like to download it and transfer onto your watercolor paper. Okay, and now I'm just dropping in this uh, purple, this darker purple. Okay, um, I think this is fine to start out with. <laughs> Mary says, coffee with my sugar, I should say, and creamer. Yeah, I like mine with creamer and sugar too. I really like mine with um, oat milk.
Okay. So, um, who here is has participated in the butterfly painting challenge? Um, even if you've only done one butterfly, that's okay. So I, I would love to know. I know Desiree has and Ashton. Hi, Ashton. Um, and I think Sydney has, maybe. And Eva, Eva has too. D Desiree says, yeah, it's so much fun. Okay, so I'm going to um, work on this wing now. I'm gonna do the same thing that I just did on this wing. So I might also have to mix more of this purple. Okay. I think I added blue to it. I don't remember. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna wet my the entire wing. And again, I'm not painting to the very edge because the very edge is white. So I'm trying to avoid painting that. Okay, and making sure my wing is wet. Okay, now I'm going to drop in the dark purple along the edge, like up here. Okay. Now I'm taking my brush and I'm just kind of like, kind of blending this a little bit more. All right. Okay, I'm reading some more of your comments here. Um, Allison says, I have finished three. I am behind. I haven't posted any. That's okay. I'm glad that you can at least um, paint some. Eva says, I'm really behind, but I love painting for the challenge in my free time. Hey. Uh, hi, Claire. I thought you weren't joining us today. <laughs> she says, oh, wait, I lost her comment. Oh, there it is. She says, hi, I love this color. I thought I would pop on. I am obsessed with your tutorials. Thank you so much. Allison says, I'm loving learning to paint butterflies. Yay. Um, Hannah, hi Hannah. She says, I'm participating, but I'm way behind. I'm painting my Eastern Swallowtail today. That's awesome. Ashton says, I think I'm going to restart my Miami Blue. I started it yesterday and just don't think I can save it at this point. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, sometimes it it's it's okay to start over. Um, I've had to start over paintings many times. Well, not, not many times, but a few times. And they always turn out so much better too. Okay, so I have some of my wet um, paint seeping into the dry paint here. So it's like kind of creating a weird texture. So I'm just going to kind of blend that out. Okay. And 
this is still fairly wet. Is there a way I can mute this video? I might use my hair dryer and <laughs> try. Um, yeah, I can, I can mute this. Okay, I think I'm gonna go grab my hair dryer and um, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back guys. I'm plugging my hair dryer in. Who here um, uses their hair dryer to dry their painting quickly? Let me know. Okay, I'm going to mute this video real quick. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Green. How are you doing? I'm so happy you're here. Okay, so now that my um, butterfly is dry, I'm going to move on to this wing here. And we're going to do the, set the same thing. Wow. Um, so I'm going to mix more of this purple color. Sydney says, I have, but I went ahead and I'm already on the ma malachite. Oh, wow. Can't work due to COVID. So I have a lot of time to paint now. Oh, I'm sorry that you're out of work. That's, that sucks. But um, I guess the bright side is that you have time to paint. Yeah, I... <laughs> I worked ahead yesterday, actually on accident. I kind of, I, I thought the, I don't know why I thought this, but I thought that Mother of Pearl Butterfly was before this one. Um, so I thought that that butterfly was for yesterday and it, it wasn't. It's okay though. I think it's okay to work ahead. Okay. A.N. says, I am behind you, but don't, but I don't give up. Yeah, guys, it's okay if you are behind on the butterfly challenge. It's, it's okay. Don't get too, um, too worried about it. It's supposed to be for fun. And, and you can always paint the butterflies anytime and still like use, use the hashtag and stuff. So again, I am avoiding the edge because the edge is white. So I'm trying not to paint the edge. Okay, and I accidentally painted this here. This was supposed to be not purple or blue or whatever. So it's okay. I think it's fine to have a little bit of purple. So I'm just kind of wiping this away. Uh, 
Um, can you guys hear me? I I just want to make sure I unmuted my my phone. I think I did. I think I just want to know if you guys can hear me. Okay, good. Desiree says yes. And it looks like a lot of you guys use your hair dryers too. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to drop in the dark purple. Around the edge here. And I'm just kind of blending this a little more. And I'm going to wipe some of this away. Claire says, looks so pretty. Can't wait to... What can't, can't wait to the finish, oh, can't wait to see the finished butterflies. Gotta go. Well, have a good Friday, Claire. I'm glad that you can join us, at least for a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to do this wing here. So, um, today we do have a like goal of 30 likes. So if, if we get to 30 likes, um, I will show you my, my most treasured and hilarious family photo. And um, I have it right here. It's right here. So I'm not going to turn it over. So we have to um, get to 30 likes. And um, I feel like I was going to mention something else to you, but I don't really remember. Okay. I like to have like goals because it just helps um, my channel. And it helps us grow this community. And we can like find more artists to connect with. Oops, see, I'm painting over the white area again. That's okay. I, I do want this to be sym symmetrical, so I probably will paint over this like I did over here on accident. So who here is painting the Miami blue butterfly right now with me? And if, if you're not, um, are you working on anything? Okay, I'm gonna um, wipe some of this away. And I'm going to drop in this purple. I accidentally painted on the white area. So I'm going to kind of Drag that off. Okay, and blend this a little bit more.
I think once these layers dry, after I use the hair dryer again, <laughs> um, I will add another layer of color. Okay, I might have to touch this up later with some white gouache. Okay, um, Eva, I, I think that's her name, right? I just want to make sure. Um, the Galetta creates her name's Eva, right? I'm pretty sure it is. I just want to make sure. Um, she, she says, I just saw that you now have more than 1,900 subscribers. Congrats. You even deserve much more than that. Oh, thank you so much. I know I am very close to getting 2,000. I am, I'm so excited. Um, and I, I'm also close to 2,000 on Instagram, so I was thinking that once I hit 2,000 on each, I will do like a giveaway or something. <laughs> Gray says, I'm not painting right now, but I enjoy the company as I'm working from home these days. Nice. Um, and De Des, hi Des. She says, I hope everyone is having a good day so far. Thank you. I hope you are too. Desiree says, oh, so close to 2,000. I am. I'm just, I'm just so thankful for all of, all of you guys. Um, <laughs> Gladys says, yes, her name is Eva. Okay, good. I just wanted to double check before I start calling you a name that's not your name. That would be really awkward. Okay. Um, Ashton says, I'll probably paint some later. Right now I'm working on my wedding website and some updates to my Etsy shop. Oh yeah, you are getting married soon, aren't you? That is so exciting. Okay, I, I'm gonna use my hair dryer again. So I'm going to mute this video for you. <laughs> Okay, um, this wing, it, like, dried very weird, but it's fine. Um, I think it's just because, like, maybe a part of this wing dried, um, first before the other part dried, and it kind of created a weird texture. Okay, so I am now going to add some more color, um, Trying to think what kind of color I want to add. I think I might use the wet and wet method again. And this time, maybe I have some KMS watercolor paints here. Um, these are her summer florals that. I think we'll launch in June, I think June 1st. Um, I, I am an ambassador for her, so that's kind of why I have these. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think I might use this purple here a little bit and maybe mix a little bit of blue in it. Okay. All right, let me think. <laughs> I think I'll take some of this blue. Yeah, 
and some of this purple. I might do another wet and wet layer on each wing. Hi Patricia. Patricia says, such a beautiful butterfly. I can't paint today, but I'll hang out with you while you guys work. Awesome. Um, I think you're doing the butterfly challenge, right? I can't, I can't remember. Sometimes it's hard for me to remember what, if, like who's doing the challenge. Um, it's been so fun to see everyone's butterflies. I, I visit the hashtag um, every day <laughs> and it's, it's been really fun. So yeah, I'm just painting like a very like light layer of this mixture here on the swing. Um, I have a lot of water, so it's, it's kind of like a glaze, maybe. And I think I'm going to add more of this violet at the edge. And I, I have to keep in mind that a lot of this right here is going to be black. So, um, so yeah, I just want to remember that. Okay, and now I'm going to do the same thing on this wing. Desiree says she is still preparing her painting. <laughs> well, good thing there's a, a replay of this. <laughs> um, it's, it's okay that you're behind, Desiree. Okay, I'm gonna mix more of this color. Ashton says, I'm so excited for the Mother of Pearl Butterfly. The colors in it are so pretty. Oh my goodness, I should show you mine. I, I did show it on Instagram stories. Um, but I it's, it's my favorite one. I'm going to show you real quick. So I just painted this yesterday. So here's my mother of pearl butterfly it was it was a lot of fun it did take me like almost four hours um but yeah i i love it and it um shimmers too i i used of course paints from kms <laughs> watercolor on etsy um so that it shimmers
Okay. Back to the painting. <laughs> Thank you, Desiree. So yeah, I'm just going to um, do what I did with the other wing. Okay, making sure all of it's wet before I add the dark purple. I'm just now using it straight out of the pan. <laughs> um, Okay, I think that's good. So I don't know um, if, if a lot of you here are part of my Blooming Artist newsletter. It's like a, an every other week email newsletter um, where I share like an, an art tip and I also like share entries from the challenges that we do and um, there's a special hashtag we use anyways that um went out today in case you are part of it um if you didn't see it in your inbox went out today and if you are not are not part of it but you um would like to be just let me know um, in the comments and I'll respond to you. Okay. I just wanted to, um, mention that. So now I'm going to use my hair dryer again to dry these wings and then we will work on these two here. Okay. Desiree says, I feel like um, she, she's talking about the mother of pearl butterfly. I, I feel like it's more difficult. It's a more difficult one to paint too. Yeah, it was pretty um, difficult. Although I think the good thing about that butterfly is that I didn't have to worry um, about the colors on each wing being the same because with that, wait, I don't want those colors <laughs> because um, with that butterfly, each wing looks different depending on how the light hits its wings because it's like, 
I don't know how, how to describe it. It's kind of, it kind of looks iridescent. So that's, that's like a, a nice thing about that butterfly. But it does have a lot of detail, a lot of little details. Okay. Try not to make this layer of paint too dark because I do want to preserve my lighter areas and what else was I going to say? <laughs> oh, um, and I still want to see, I, I still want to be able to see my pencil marks too for the veins. Okay, now I'm going to drop in this purple. Oh, it's already drying. Okay. this wing. I feel like I always have to mix my colors <laughs> over and over again. I always do that. Hi Chrissy. So glad you're here. How are you? Um, she, she says this is gorgeous. Thank you. I hope you're doing okay. Desiree says, that's true. I hope mine is gonna come out just as beautiful. Oh my gosh, Desiree, I'm sure it will. I'm sure your butterfly will come out gorgeous. Okay, adding this dark purple to the edge. That's already drying. <laughs> I don't think I wetted this these wings enough. It's okay. All right, um, okay, I, I, I feel like, I feel like I do want to darken these wings up here again more, so, um, maybe I will add some more color up here, and then we will paint in the black areas. Sarah says, are your watercolors from Windsor and Newton? 
so here, um, these three here are, are from Winsor & Newton. This Quinacridone Violet and the black and the Chinese white, but I, I haven't used these yet here. And I used, the, this here is the Vintage Pastels Pan Set. And it's, I, I used the lilac, the soft lilac, and I used this color here, this light blue. And then um, I used these paints here. I used the purple and the blue. And this is from KMS Watercolor on Etsy. I, I linked her shop in the description. Um, and this is her Summer Florals set, which will be launching, I think, June 1st. I'm pretty sure it's June 1st. Um, so yeah, these are the paints I'm using. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and use my hair dryer again to dry these wings. Okay. I'm now going to add some more purple on the edge here for these top two wings, kind of as dark as over here. Um, I'm taking my size eight round brush. Hi, Liz. She says, sorry I'm late. Last frost date planted 20 tomatoes i think i'll have have to just watch today oh that's okay wow 20 tomatoes um i'm actually doing that this weekend on um tomorrow i am um what was i gonna say i'm, I'm going to plant in my garden tomorrow i think i'm gonna plant some tomatoes. I, I did start some like as seeds inside, like indoors, but they didn't turn out. <laughs> they, they all died. I'm so awful with plants. <laughs> um, and I also have some sweet peppers that I started as seeds that um, I hope, I hope they'll survive. Um, but I'm gonna have to go to this, to like a garden center and buy some tomato plants. Okay, so um, if you're just joining, our like goal today is 30 likes. So if we get to 30 likes, I will share my most treasured family photo. And it is um, also the most hilarious family photo I have. Um, I have it right here, so I'll, I'll turn it over, um, once we get to 30 likes. And it looks like we have a dislike, which is fine, you know, that happens. I can't please everyone. <laughs> um, it just helps make the people who do like this video even more wonderful. Okay, so um, now I am, I think I'm gonna add some purple up here. So yeah, I'm just adding this dark purple and I'm blending with like clean water in my brush too, kind of blending that into the dry area and I think I'm going to add some here so 
So yeah, I'm just trying to get this, the values right of this butterfly before I add the black. Like I wanna try and have the colors correct first before adding the black. Kissy you so, so lovely. I'm okay, hon. Thank, uh, nice to see you. Nice to see you too. I'm glad you're doing all right. Desiree says, thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. Girl up, Upcycled Studio. Hi. She's a new subscriber. Yay. Welcome. Um, I'm so glad that, that you're here. Desiree says, someone must have misclicked. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. Um... <laughs> Kenan says, when you are drawing your butterflies, what are your tricks to keep it? Um, what, what are your tricks to keep it? I'm not sure what, what you mean by keeping it. So can you, um, oh, she, she says, I was going to ask you how you keep the sides symmetrical. Yeah, um, so, I like, okay, so first I, I find some butterfly reference photos, like on Google or whatever. Um, and then I uh, like trace the outline of the butterfly onto like a, um, what's the word? Like a plain piece of paper. Like I, I, I just trace the outline just so um, it makes painting it easier and and it helps me like keep it, keep the wings like all the same um, size. And then, but as I'm painting and I'm adding color and I'm adding detail, it is very difficult to keep it symmetrical. It is a challenge. Um, all my butterflies aren't perfectly symmetrical. I think it's just how it is. Um, I. And, and it, it's, it's okay because it's a painting, it's not a photograph. So I'm not too worried, but I do try my best to keep it symmetrical. Hi, Ingrid. She says, hi, everyone. I'm late. That's okay. Um, <laughs> it says, oops, I didn't mean to say poops. She, she accidentally said poops. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> that is so funny. Hi, hi, Embrace Life with Art. How are you doing? How's it going? Um, okay. So I am going to add some dark purple around the edge here too, just like I did over here. Okay, and um, I'm cleaning my brush. And I had a touch of clean water in it and I'm just gonna blend this wet paint into the dry. Okay. All right. Um, <laughs> one thing I don't like about watercolors is they dry so differently. I'm always like, man, I thought that was going to look more vibrant. 
Okay, I, I really want to get this color right. I think I'm going to add a touch of blue to the wings now. So I think I'm going to take some of this. I think it's called Periwinkle from the Vintage Pastels pan set. I'm going to mix it in this uh, purple here. And I think I might add a touch of this blue, the sparkly blue from KMS watercolor. And I'm, I'm going to add this blue in some areas. So I'm just going to add some like here. And I'm going to blend with some water. Okay, I'm not sure how I like that. <laughs> Hi, Erica. How are you doing today? Are you um, painting this butterfly? Aditi, yes. I knew I, I knew that was you. Hi. Um, Mary, hi. Um, she says, I so love the purple. Thanks. I do too. Art by Deborah Farrell. Hi. She says, personally, I think the color of this butterfly has been the hardest so far. It is. It's, it's because I, I feel like a lot of photos of this butterfly, like some are blue, some are like purple. <laughs> some are like both blue and purple. And it's just kind of like, I don't know. It's just kind of difficult to get the color right. Like there's a lot of blues and purples. Okay, I think I'm ready to paint um, the black areas now. Maybe I'll add more purple or blue later on. Hannah says, my method for symmetry is that I draw the right side, then I flip it and trace the left side. Ooh, that is, that is a good tip. Old trick from my drafting days. Thanks for sharing your trick. No problem. Okay. All right. Wow, we are three likes away from hitting our goal of 30 likes. We're getting there, guys. So now I'm taking my size four round brush here and I am going to take this black. This is from the Windsor Newton Professional Pan Set. And I'm just gonna put some on my palette here. I'm gonna start up here. I feel like adding black to butterflies is like one of the most intimidating things when painting them. Okay, I am cleaning my brush and I have some clean water I'm gonna blend this into the dry area. I 
Okay, I'm going to add some more black. Okay. All right, I think that's good for now. Um, I will add some more detail, like in the white area, like the white edge. Um, wait, wait, oh, wow. Can't talk <laughs> here soon. I'll add some more detail. Actually, maybe I'll do that now. So, um, at the edge of the wing, there's like some lines. So there's a line here and here and here and here. So I'm just going to kind of, since I have some black already in my brush, I'm just going to kind of paint those in. And I'm going to take the very tip of my brush here and just kind of create some like little lines into the white area. Because it looks like this butterfly, it's like kind of furry, like the edge of its wings are like furry. All right. So we'll do the same thing we just did over here. Oh, we made it to 30 likes. Yay. So do you guys want to see the photo right now? Or do you want to wait until the end? Let me know what, what you would like. Desiree says, for me personally, it depends on how much energy I have. Sometimes I draw, sometimes I trace the outline. Sometimes I trace the whole photo in, in pattern. But that's one neat trick, Hannah. I totally agree with that. Hannah says now. Anyone else? Um, hi, Fallon. She says, I haven't started mine yet. I'm having a hard time finding a reference photo because, like you said, they're all different. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know. But this butterfly, um, is it was difficult finding a... Um, photo like a, a good photo of so I'm using um, a lot of like my my reference in my butterfly book if that makes sense okay so people are saying now okay are you guys ready are you ready okay here we go here it is <laughs> So this is from Halloween when I think, here's me, I think I was maybe eight or nine. This is my sister, Ashley, and my dad, my dad has like a wig on and a hat. <laughs> my mom like dressed as a hillbilly or something. <laughs> um, and me and my sister are cats, but I think it's so funny because of my parents, like, so hilarious. 
So this is one of my most treasured family photos. I I now have it on my, um, like I, I've been having it on my bookcase. Um, but yeah, here it is. I hope you guys found that funny or um, entertaining. <laughs> But I, I don't know if, if you can see, but my mom, she she like blacked out some of her teeth. And so it looks like she, she has like one or two teeth. <laughs> and then she um put balloons in her shirt. So it looks like, I don't know if you can tell, but there are like balloons in her shirt. It's just so funny. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I hope that was worth it, worth getting 30 likes. Um, Desiree says, that's why I always paint out the black pattern with gray so I know I have it right and then I add black. Oh, that's a good, that's a good technique. Hannah says, I use the same trick when drawing a vase or a bottle because no matter how hard I try, they look lopsided. Oh yes, totally can relate to that. Oh, thank you guys. I'm glad you liked that. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna, I have like a cat hair in my black. I have a Leo hair in my paint. If you don't know, Leo's my cat. I think it's just part of pet life, having a pet. You get pet hair in your paint. Okay. So I'm taking more of this black. Oops. And like over here, I'm going to add it on the edge. And as I'm painting this wing, I'm really trying to make sure it is symmetrical to this wing here. So I, I wanna add um, the right amount of black in the right areas. Okay, so now I'm cleaning my brush and I have some clean water and I'm blending this into the dry area. So I was thinking of coming out with a tutorial about blending, like maybe one about blending wet and wet and then one blending wet into dry because I know a lot of you struggle with blending. So um, yeah, that's, that's like a future video idea I have. I'd love to know your thoughts on that. If if you think that would be a good video, like that'll help you. Oh my gosh, there's a cat hair, a Leo hair. Okay. Ashton says, I find Roscoe hair in my paints and brushes all the time. <laughs> Desiree says, love the photo. And she says, hair is always a pair everywhere in paints. I'm glad I'm not alone. <laughs> yeah, I think it's just something us pet people have to live with. Okay, so like over here, when I added those little lines, and I, I painted in these four lines here. We're going to do the same thing.
This is going to be kind of hard for me because I can't like turn my paper because it's like taped. Um, and I'm right handed so I have, I have to like angle my hand <laughs> awkwardly. I think I need some more black. Sometimes I wish I could paint left hand too, like both left and right hand. Who here can paint with both hands just fine? <laughs> Is there anyone here that can? Okay, I added too much black. I might have to work on this area more, <laughs> like touch it up a little bit with a smaller brush. Desiree says, I definitely cannot paint with both hands, <laughs> but I have to go eat real quick. Be right back. Awesome. Awesome. What are you having for dinner? Okay. So I'm gonna try and use my teeny tiny size zero round brush and kind of paint in these little furs. And I'm gonna repaint in the lines like the four lines you see at least from what I see um in some photos on Google of this butterfly Okay, so now we're going to paint the edge of this wing here. Art by Deborah says, I have 10 chihuahuas. Oh my goodness, and a Dover man. Trust me, we're not alone. Oh my goodness. Wow, you have your hands full. I, I can definitely see how you would have a lot of hair in your paints. Okay, I'm grabbing some more black and I'm going to paint the edge of this wing here, but the, the edge here is a lot thinner than up here on this wing. So I, I wanna make sure that I don't make it too too thick. At least from the photo in my butterfly book, that's what it looks like. So I'm first going around the edge with black. And then I am going to blend with clean water my brush. So I am cleaning my brush and then I have some clean water in it.
gonna add a touch more black. Alright, um, and then there are, wait, for first, okay, <laughs> there are like two spots here, like a big one here and a tiny one here, so I'm painting the male, um, he, so, so he has two spots, um, but, but before I paint those, I'm going to paint the edge of this white, the same of, of how I did up here on these wings. And I, I'm going to change to my tiny brush, my size zero round brush. I'm grabbing some black. And I'm first painting in these lines, like these lines I see here and here. And I'm going to kind of blend this, the lines into the black. Ella says, in my country it is 5 p.m. so I have eaten some hours ago. <laughs> I ate some pasta and a cheeseburger. Oh, yummy. Um, Yuna says, I have a tuxedo cat named Max. Oh, His hairs are always in my paint. <laughs> I recently painted a picture of him and after it dried, I noticed a hair stuck in the black paint on the picture. I left it. <laughs> that is too funny. That's, that's funny how one of his hairs are in a painting of him. <laughs> okay, so I'm taking some more black. I don't want this to be too dark, so I'm, I'm adding um, a good amount of water to it. And, okay, I think I might add a touch of gray too. So I'm gonna take some of this gray from the vintage pastels. Okay, I think that's good. Mary says, I've, I've got to get some housework done, but adding this to Faves so I can try it. Have a wonderful day. Well, I'm glad you, you could join us for a little bit. Um, I hope that you will have fun painting this butterfly. Okay, so I'm just adding some little, little hairs. into the white. And then um, I, I will go back and paint the edge too of the wings. Okay, now I'm going to um, paint in the black spots. So I'm going to take some black. And there's a big spot here. And notice how I am moving my brush vertically up and down. I, I'm not, it's, it's not like a perfect circle. Um, 
it's, yeah, if, <laughs> wow, I can't talk today. Um, it, I look at the photo in my butterfly book and when I look at it at the spot, it's not a perfect circle. It's kind of like just a spot, <laughs> just a spot. Wow. <sighs> it's Friday guys. It's Friday. I'm so, I'm so happy it's Friday. Do you have any plans for this weekend? Um, what are you up to? I am going to, I think I already told you this, but I'm going to plant my garden this weekend. And I'm going to relax. <laughs> and... Um, I might also, so I'm kind of learning a little bit about guitar because my husband, he, J Jimmy, he, um, is practicing fiddle. He's, he's trying to learn the fiddle for, gosh, maybe it's about a year now he's been kind of learning about it. And so he wants me to like play tunes with him, with the guitar. <laughs> so... So I've been um, trying to at least learn like just basic, what what's the word, basic notes or basic chords or whatever to play with him. So I might I'll probably practice this weekend. <laughs> um, who here, do, do any of you guys play a musical instrument? So now I'm going to do the same thing I did over here on this wing. I'm going to paint the edge. Okay, now I'm cleaning my brush and I have some clean water and I'm going to blend into the dry area. Blend this black. Trying to work quickly um, because I feel like my black wasn't that wet and so it's going to dry fast. I'm gonna add some more black. Desiree says she is back. Yay! Fallon says she plays the flute. Wow! I love the sound of the flute. It's very peaceful. Hannah says, I play guitar. Started at 15. I'm 54 four now. Oh my goodness. You must be really good. That's a long time to play an instrument. Um, did, did you, when you first learned, did you take lessons or um, did you just teach yourself? Ingrid says, I play piano and guitar. Nice. I've, I've taken piano lessons in college and I, I've tried to learn piano on my own too but I haven't really practiced lately. Um, I just have to make time for it. It's just hard because art is like my life now. Like my art is basically 
the only thing I feel like I do besides like, um, you know, other things like housework and spending time with family and friends. I, I would really like to play the piano though. I would like to, um, uh, what's the word? Decide that I'm going to commit to practicing and get good at it. I just need to make time, that's all. But now I'm trying to learn the, at least like basic, very basic guitar chords or whatever to play with Jimmy as he plays the fiddle. <laughs> so we'll see. Um, Anna says guitar is pretty easy. It just takes lots of practice and patience like watercolor painting. Yeah, I can definitely see that. <clears throat> Ashton says, I, I played violin, electric, and acoustic guitar, auto, saxophone, and clarinet. Oh my goodness, Ashton, that's awesome. You're so talented with like art and music. Do you have a, a favorite instrument out of all of those? Hannah says, I had a friend show me basic chords, took a few lessons, but mostly self-taught. Very painful on the fingers if you have still strings. Yes, oh my gosh. So I, I he, he started to show me some things um, three days ago and, and I practiced for like 30 minutes and my, my, um, my wrist hurt so bad and my fingers hurt, like the tips of my fingers. And then last night I practiced for like 20 minutes and I, I couldn't go on. Like my my wrist was like in pain and my fingers and it's, yeah. But J Jimmy says that that goes away. So hopefully um, I get used to it or my my fingers get used to it. Okay, I'm now going to paint in these spots and I'm gonna try my best to make this as symmetrical as I can. Um, this is probably the most difficult thing about painting butterflies, making sure it's symmetrical. Concentrating really hard right now. <laughs> okay, and then there is a spot here. Um, I think I'm gonna touch up this spot. Okay, I'm gonna add some more black to this one. Uh, 
All right, I think that looks pretty symmetrical. Ashton says, I haven't played any of them in a while, but violin stuck around the longest, so I guess you could say it's my favorite one. Nice. The violin sounds so pretty. I, I love the sound of it. And, and she says, your fingers will get used to it. When I first started playing guitar, my fingers would get so raw and sore towards the end of my lessons, but in the end, it's worth it. Good to know. Desiree says, I, I have no musical talent at all. You are also super talented. <laughs> Hannah says, I highly recommend Martin Silk and Still Strings for your guitar. They still have sound, but a little easier on the fingers. Jimmy is right. You build calluses and it feels better. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll have to um, mention those strings to Jimmy. Um, and then she says to Desiree, my sister always says she plays the radio really well. <laughs> she quit every instrument she ever tried. <laughs> and then Art, Art by Deborah says, we are in total lockdown, live in Southern Spain. Yeah, it, where I live in Indiana, we are starting to open back up, at least like my state in the U.S. Um, and I'm not sure how I feel about it because the virus is still around. People are still getting sick and unfortunately dying from it. So I don't even know how I feel about opening back up. Um, anyways. I won't get into that because I want my channel to be like a positive place for you guys. I don't want to, yeah, anyways. Um, so now I think I'm going to work on the, the body of the butterfly. Um, sometimes I find the body of the butterfly like just as challenging as the wings. Like, they're kind of difficult. Um, anyway, so I'm looking at the photo in my book. And, okay, um, I think I'm just going to paint. Okay, <laughs> um, anyone else have trouble with the body? I think I'm going to paint the eyes with black. Making sure this is dry before I rest my hand. Okay, as I'm painting this eye, I'm really trying to make it symmetrical. Trying my best.
guys, I know to play some traditional instruments from Galicia, the Celtic park part of Spain, and I began to play the guitar and abandoned it. <laughs> and since last year, I am learning to play the ukulele. Wow, the ukulele, that's cool. And then she says, so my house is filled with instruments. <laughs> that's not a bad thing. Um, and then she says, the body is, is the most hard part for me. And, and Allison, um, says that as well. Yeah, it's, it's so difficult because when, when I like start a butterfly painting, I like always just focus on the wings and then when it comes to the body, I'm like, oh, and then I kind of like don't put as much effort into it as the wings and then they I always have trouble and it never turns out well so, sometimes they turn out okay but the body usually doesn't turn out how I would like okay I'm taking my size 4 round brush and I'm going to take some black here and um He's like round right here. It's like round. <laughs> um, I'm going off my book right now. So in my book, he looks like kind of like this. Um, And then it's like lighter around. And I want to kind of drag some of this black off in the middle. And then his little head. I'm grabbing more black. Okay. Hi Susie, that's okay. Um, you can always watch the the replay. I'm glad you're here. Liz says I do the head and body first. You know that might actually be a good idea to just do that first and then paint in the wings. Um. There's like a line here. Okay, and then I think I'm going to grab my size zero round brush. Desiree says, okay, finished my sketch. <laughs> wow, Desiree. 
<laughs> and she says, me too, it is a lot of fun. Me too, it is a lot. I'm not sure, I don't remember what we were talking about. <laughs> Liz says, your, your body is looking really good, very realistic, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I'm really trying here, I'm really trying. If you were here in my last live, last Friday, we painted the purple tip. I had the hardest time with the body. It did not turn out well. And I still I still want to try and fix it. I haven't gotten around to like trying to fix it. Um but I, I would like to. It didn't turn out very well. Allison says that that looks amazing. Thank you. Yeah, I think after we're done with the body, um, then I will probably paint in the veins. And and then uh, paint around the edge of the wings. And the antennas. And then we will probably be almost done. Maybe just a few more details and... Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I'll get out my white gouache and kind of fix this area here where it is supposed to be somewhat white. Okay. I'm so scared to mess this up. <laughs> I'm so scared to like overwork it. Okay, I think I'm just gonna let that be for now. I might add some more detail. Um, I have a feeling my, my phone battery is going to die soon, so I'm gonna go um, and plug it in real quick. It will be a little shaky, just to warn you. Okay.
right, I think now I'm going to paint in the antennas. Which this is <laughs> probably one of the most stressful for me to paint. Um, so I'm gonna start, I'm, I'm just gonna use like a really light black, like a gray with a lot of, like black with a lot of water, but not too much water because I found that if you have too much water in your brush, um, it doesn't create like a, a thin line. And we want the antennas to be thin. We don't want them to be too thick. I'm gonna start at the top. Oh, so stressful. <laughs> Anyone else relate to this? Okay, that one turned out good. Now the other one. Okay. Okay. I feel like this one didn't turn out as well. <laughs> All right, I don't want to mess this up, so I think I might just leave it like this. I think it looks okay. Erica says, I prefer the purple version of this butterfly lucky peanut. I don't really like the blue. <laughs> yeah, I, I like this purple a lot. Desiree says, this one was not too bad, lol. <laughs> That's good. Cindy says, this looks amazing. Thank you. <clears throat> okay, so now I'm going to paint in the veins. Well, I, wait, first, first I, I kind of want to paint like a shadow under these wings here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that first. For this shadow, I'm going to take some of this purple here this quinacridone violet and a little bit of black okay I have a lot of water in my brush I'm, I'm going to dab it on my paper towel And I'm gonna have the shadow kind of be on the white area too. side.
All right. Whew. Um, and now I am going to paint in, actually let, let's paint in the out side of the wings. As you can see, I am putting off painting the veins. <laughs> it's probably my least favorite part, painting butterflies. So I am going to mix like a, a gray. So I'm just gonna take some of this gray here from Vintage Pastels pan set. So it looks like I kind of already have gray in my palette. So I'll just add some water to it and I'm gonna take a little bit of black. And maybe a little bit of purple. Okay, too much. <laughs> I'm gonna take some more gray Okay, I think that's good. It's kind of like a purple gray. And I'm gonna use my teeny tiny size zero round brush. Angelica, hi Angelica, how are you doing? She says, I love the color, thank you. I'm gonna start on this wing here and okay I'm gonna start at the base which for my butterfly he he doesn't like white white kind of like the white outline <laughs> kind of starts up here somewhere I know some photos um, they're white down here too. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna start up here and connect here. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing. Actually, just ignore what I just said. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and finish this wing. And I'm going to add some little lines for like furriness Desiree says, I actually started painting. <laughs> that Desiree has been um, spending the last few hours just on her sketch. <laughs> that is too funny. Ella says, I'm sketching right now the fourth butterfly of the challenge. Yay! The fourth one is the um, American Painted Lady, right? Is, is that the one you're starting? I think that's the fourth one. I'm starting to lose track.
Okay, I'm trying to make sure this is symmetrical. It looks like it is. Okay, <clears throat> now I'm painting in the little furs. Eva says, yes, that one. So, okay, so Eva is starting the fourth butterfly of the painting challenge, the butterfly painting challenge, and it's the American Painted Lady. That one was a lot of fun to paint. Um, it did take me, I think it took me like four hours <laughs> to paint the other day. It did take me a long time, but it was a lot of fun. Okay. Um, now I'm going to do the same thing on these bottom wings here. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and outline this one and then we'll add in the fur, the furriness. Okay, I'm gonna mix a little bit more of this gray color. So I have gray mixed with a little bit of purple. I think that's good. I don't wanna, I don't think I have to add black. Desiree says that the Painted Lady was a lot of fun to paint. Art by Deborah says, finish mine, so we'll say goodbye for now. Enjoy. Have, a, have an amazing Friday. Glad that you can join us. Um, Allison says, I'm getting ready to start that one too. Awesome. I can't wait to see your guys's um, Miami blue butterflies. I also can't wait to see your mother pearl butterflies. I I just love how mine turned out. It was so much fun to paint. Okay. 
Okay. Um, now I guess it's time for the veins of this butterfly. Just have to do it. I think for my veins, I'm going to use like a purple, like a um, dark purple, not, not too dark. So I'm gonna take some of this violet here, quinacridone violet from Winsor Newton Professional Pan Set. And I'm going to mix a little bit of this soft lilac from the Vintage Pastels Pan Set to kind of tone it down a little bit, make it more, um, I guess, lighter. So there, I think this is good. And I like to use my liner brush here, my size one liner brush from Princeton as their Neptune series. And I can still kind of see my um, pencil marks for the veins, so that's good. <laughs> I'll make this a lot easier. And here we go. <sighs> okay. I, I really wish I can like turn my paper. That'll make this easier. It's okay though. Okay, I'm gonna start, there, there's a vein right here at, at the bottom of this vein. So I'm going to, okay. I have a lot of paint in my brush. I'm gonna kind of dab it on my paper towel. Okay, here we go. I, okay. So stressful. <clears throat> oh, there's that one. That's where he says painting the veins is nerve wracking. Totally, totally agree with that. Yes, it is. Probably the most nerve wracking thing about painting butterflies. Um, okay, so there's a vein right here. And it connects where this vein connects. Okay, it's a little imperfect, but it's all right. Kind of trying to blend this vein into the wing a little bit so it doesn't just stop abruptly. <laughs> all right, all right. So now I'm going to paint these two veins over here. Try my best to be symmetrical. Whew. Now this one. It's always easier for me to paint these wings here, like the veins in these wings, because I'm right-handed. It's, it's easier to go like this instead of like this for me. Okay.
this vein, there's a vein that emerges right here. Okay, now I'm going to paint that same one over here. <sighs> okay. I'm just glad that I can still see my pencil marks at least a little bit. That really helps. I think, I think it emerges here. We got this. Hi, Cameron. I'm glad you're here. I hope you're doing well. She says, wow, it looks, looks so pretty. Thanks. We are painting the Miami Blue Butterfly. Okay, so there's a vein right here and it starts where they start okay Whew. now I'm going to paint that same vein over here this like painting like a few veins at a time on each wing really helps me um, keep it symmetrical. Like helps me, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Using a liner brush really, really helps me steady my hand. I feel like because the, um, what's this? It's, it's called a, I don't know, I forget. I'm like, I'm like, <laughs> my, my brain right now is kind of fried from going live and my nerves when I go live, but, um, it's the long bristle. Yeah, I think that's the word. Long bristle that helps me steady my line, if that makes sense. Okay, um, so there's another vein that emerges here and it goes like this. Okay, now I'm going to paint that same one over here. Trying to be symmetrical. Um, okay, T Desiree says, very pretty with the purple. Mine is becoming more blue. Yeah, I, I think some of these butterflies are, are more blue than purple. I guess it just depends like what what color you would like to paint it. <laughs> um, Allison says, oh, did, did you receive, the, did the package I sent arrive? Okay, um, so I will be going to the post office today and checking my PO box. So um, I, I'll let you know if I, if I get it or not today. Um, I'm excited, yay. So yeah, I'll, I'll keep you updated. I, I haven't checked my PO box yet this week um, because I, I haven't been to the post office, but I, I usually check my PO box at least once a week. 
Okay, so I'm gonna mix more of this color here. So I used the quinacridone violet and this soft lilac. A lot of water, not, not too much, but a good amount. Okay, okay. Um, so there is a vein here, but it looks like, at least in my butterfly book, that it doesn't connect to any of these. It kind of like emerges from over here where this line is so where these lines are right here and here um so it goes like that <sighs> okay okay all the veins on these upper wings. So now it's time to paint the lower ones. Okay. So, um, let's see. There's a vein that starts like here and kind of curves up like this. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna kind of fade that out. And I'm going to do the same thing over here. Hoping it's symmetrical. All right, that looks good. <laughs> and now we have a vein that connects here and kind of curves like this. And then, um, I think it, it looks like it kind of lines up with this line right here okay and same over here okay as i'm like painting these veins I'm kind of like dragging my pinky finger along my paper like this. That that really helps me steady my hand as I paint these veins. So I'm like dragging my pinky finger. So it helps me like make straight lines and not like squiggly <laughs> irregular lines. And now there's a vein that um, let's see, I'm looking at my book. There's a vein that starts here where this line is and it kind of fades. So it doesn't really connect to any veins over here. So like this. Okay. All right. <laughs> <clears throat> 
fine lines are perfect. I have to give all the credit to this, to this brush right here. This brush is like perfect for um, fine lines. Thank you though, thank you so much. Oh, I also think making the veins like a light color, not black, I feel like that's kind of a, a beginner mistake with butterflies is that um, some, some people paint their veins black, but really a lot of the time the veins are not black. Um, so I feel like that, that really helps, like a, a light color makes it look more realistic. Um, Joy says, beautiful. I don't have any paints. I, I don't have any of those paint colors. I may have to skip this one. I didn't realize I needed a specific purple until last week when you painted the purple tip. Um, what, what kind of colors do you have? Do, do you, if you have like, do, do you have blue or, or red? Then maybe you, you can try and make like a purple. Um, or if, I mean, if, if you want to, you, you can still paint this and have it be like a whole different color if, if you really want to, if you really wanted to paint this butterfly. Um, and she says, I'll probably just sketch all the butterflies for this challenge in my sketchbook and color them in with colored pencils. That's a good idea. Desiree says, I, I need to get myself a good liner brush too. Yeah, this, um, I love this one. I, I have it linked in the description, which I, I know my, my link is only U.S. It's only U.S., so, um, but anyways, Allison says, I need that brush. And Desiree says, we would love to see all your butterflies in our nature artist group. Yeah, so if you guys are part of the Nature Artist Facebook group, which if you're not, it is linked in the description of this video. There's a link and you can join. And and if you're a part of it, feel free to post your butterflies in there from this challenge. We, we would love to see them. Okay. So there's a vein that... Um, starts here where this line is and it um, connects I think it connects I don't really know let me look here <laughs> I think it connects to this one okay all right I'm gonna paint the same one over here. And then there's a vein right here that starts where this line is and it connects to this vein. Okay, I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna start like at the top here and paint down. Um really trying to make this symmetrical <laughs> so hard okay and then there's a vein in between these spots and it goes up it looks like that it kind of just disappears like it doesn't connect But maybe I'll just have it connect over here. <laughs> okay. And I'll start 
it's just easier for me to like start at the bottom on this wing and for, for this wing start at the top just how like how, how my hand rests if that makes sense okay <clears throat> we're almost there can't believe it we've been live for like two and a half hours craziness okay so this area right here is supposed to be kind of light like white um so i i will touch that up with some white gouache but first i will paint this isn't really a vein i don't think it's just like the outline of where the white is supposed to be but i'm going to kind of paint it like this anyways all right <laughs> um okay looks good i'm liking how this butterfly is turning out so now i'm going to add a bit sh like a bit more shadow over here like around the body to give him more depth so i am going to mix some of this purple and some black just a little bit of black And I'm going to add okay I'm cleaning my brush and I have some clean water and I'm gonna blend okay, this is supposed to be white right here <laughs> so I'm just gonna blend this in anyways. And I wanna do the same thing. On this side. And I'm gonna add some more of this dark purple up here. Like at the top of his wing. Okay, I'm going to add some of this again, kind of like in the shadow. So yeah, I'm just trying to make him like, I don't know, more like add more depth to him, kind of deep, deep in the shadows. And I'm going to take this purple again, and I'm going to kind of add it on his body in some areas, just so he, he's not just gray and black.
Okay. Um, we're almost done, guys. Emma says, yes, I have to post something on, in the group. I am thinking about posting a video showing you how, show, showing you how turning on the insect nature, wait, turning on the insect nature journal I am making with this challenge. Ooh, you're making an insect nature journal. I, wait, I think you did mention that um, last time on last live video. So exciting. Um, yeah, we, we all would love to see that. That would be really pretty. Hannah says, uh, yeah, she, she also agrees. An insect nature journal. That is so cool. Okay. Um, yeah, guys, I think we're almost done. I'm basically done. I just, I want to add some white gouache. So I have this white gouache here from Windsor Newton. It's their designer squash in permanent white. And I'm just going to take some from the tube with my size four round brush. I'm just going to kind of paint this area in with white. Okay, and I kind of want to make this less white up here. <clears throat> there, I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Trying to make this symmetrical. Okay, okay. I think I'm done. I think I'm done, guys. <laughs> I feel like I could probably keep working on this for another hour, but then maybe I would end up overworking it. And this live is already two and a half hours. <laughs> so, um... Yeah, what do you guys think? Sydney says, I have to go early, but this was lovely. A lovely live, bye guys. The butterflies turning out awesome. Bye Sydney. Thanks for hanging out with us. Okay, so I'm going to um, take the tape off and then I'll show you a closer look. So I, I'm not like, the, this uh, paper is from a block, a watercolor block, and I'm not painting with the block because I have been sketching out or, or like trying to draw out all of my butterflies um, in batches, and so I have to like take it off of the block to, um, if, if that makes sense, to like draw all the other butterflies. <laughs> So that's kind of why I had to tape it down and I'm not using my block. Anyways, I wonder if it'll focus. Now I'll just take my phone off of this tripod. So here we go. What, what do you guys think? I hope that you um, liked watching me paint this butterfly. Um, and, and if you followed along, I hope that you enjoyed it. And it, um, shimmers because of the paint from KMS. I don't know if you can see how the lighting 
is the lighting. I feel like the lighting isn't that great right now. <clears throat> and yep, here's my setup as usual. There is the chat. Hi. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. It was a lot of fun. It was so much fun. Um, I always love doing these lives with you. Yeah, they make me nervous. Sometimes I'm a nervous wreck. But it's so worth it because I get to talk with you all and I feel like we all like connect together and it's just so nice um, to have company during this time and a community. Um, so I'm really loving seeing your butterflies and I can't wait to um, continue seeing them. And yes, my desk over there is a mess. <laughs> Um, yesterday I filmed a my a video talking about my my favorite watercolor supplies and I haven't put them away yet so yep um, anyways bye everyone bye I'm looking at the chat over here um, bye Eva Sydney Hannah Desiree Angelica um, we have Sarah um, Joyce, I know Joyce was on here. Um, <laughs> my brain is like um, Ingrid. Bye guys. Have a lovely weekend. I appreciate you. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.